Hello friends, if someone asks you whether 6 is a factor of 100 or not, you would just divide 100 by 6 and tell no, there would be 4 as a remainder. Whereas 5 is a factor of 100 because 100 divided by 5 gives remainder of 0. So this is a general way to find whether a number is a factor of another number. Something similar applies to polynomial too. Let us revise few things that we have learnt in our earlier videos. We learned that when dividing a polynomial px by a linear polynomial x minus a, we represent it as polynomial px is equal to x minus a, which is the divisor, multiplied by qx, which is the quotient, plus r, which is the remainder. We also learned that 0 of a divisor x minus a is a and if we put a as the value of x in the polynomial that is we solve p of a we get the value of remainder r or in other words finding the value of a polynomial with 0 of its divisor gives the remainder of the polynomial. This was the remainder theorem we learned earlier very useful to find the remainder of a polynomial without performing the division operation. Now let us say PA comes out to be 0 itself. This means the remainder R is equal to 0. This means PX is equal to X minus A into QX because R is 0. This means X minus A is a perfect divisor of px or in other words x minus a is a factor of polynomial px because x minus a divides the polynomial completely with zero remainder left. In vice versa we can also say if x minus a is a factor of px then pa which is a remainder has to be equal to zero. This is the factor theorem. So the remainder theorem led us to the factor theorem. So let us take an example. Say we need to find whether x minus 2 is a factor of polynomial x to the power 4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1. First, find out 0 of the divisor x minus 2. So x minus 2 equal to 0, so x equal to 2. So 2 is the 0 of divisor x minus 2. According to the remainder theorem, P2 is equal to the remainder. And if it comes out to be 0, then according to factor theorem, x minus 2 will be a factor of Px. So let's test it. Let us put 2 instead of x and find out the value of the polynomial. So P2 is equal to 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 3 minus 2 into 2 to the power 2 plus 2 plus 1. So we replaced x by 2 which is the 0 of the divisor x minus 2. So it comes out to be 16 plus 8 minus 8 plus 3 which is equal to 19. So 19 is the remainder. P of 2 is equal to 19 which is the remainder and it's a non-zero. So x minus 2 is not a factor of Px. Let's take another example. Px equal to x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6. And it is divided by x minus 3. And we want to find out whether x minus 3 is a factor of the polynomial. So first find the 0 of the divisor x minus 3. So it is 3. Now find the value of p of 3. Put this in the polynomial it becomes 3 cube minus 4 into 3 square plus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 27 minus 36 plus 3 plus 6 which is equal to 36 minus 36 equal to 0. So p of 3 is equal to 0 this means x minus 3 is a factor of polynomial px which is x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6. So in a nutshell, px which has a degree of 
greater than equal to 1 when divided by x minus a, a linear polynomial where a is a real number, then a is the zero of the divisor polynomial x minus a, p a would be the remainder r, this is the remainder theorem and if p a comes out to be zero then we say x minus a is the factor of p x and that is the factor theorem. That's all about polynomials for now. Bye-bye.